What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're customizing the Trafad, whatever this car is called. I just won it uh, about 20 minutes ago now, I've been trying to edit the, the podium method and it is Friday, I know that, but I figured better to get it out than not. Um, it's been kind of a while since I last won the wheel, about a year, but I figured this day is going pretty well so why not add to it I guess. So we're going to be customizing this vehicle. Um, the one thing I can see, I'm not the biggest fan of the new update, I kind of wish I didn't spend 5 million on the place. So I could have at least 10 million. Lester, leave me alone. I want to talk to you. But yeah. Uh, anyways, um, as long as we don't have schoolwork going on to Thursdays, pretty much, I should be able to wake up early and try winning the podium method for you guys, or podium car for you guys again. Um, that's what I used to do. I used to wake up at like 7 in the morning and spin the wheel. But uh, different time zones, it kind of really affects me. Like, my time for the podium vehicle coming out is 3.30 in the morning, where like other people is at like... But, but but no 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 podium methods and it's been a year since I last uploaded a podium method and he's been carrying you guys for this entire time doing podium methods for you guys but you know it's time to bring back the one who got a bunch of views in the beginning I know I may not get the views anymore because that topic is kind of oversaturated because we had ZRX and Bolt Sheep Party they were both kind of uploading podium methods at least like seven times a week like he was like I remember Bullshit Park, he did a video or a videos every single day of winning the podium vehicle. And over time when you oversaturate that topic of views, then you get less in, then you get less views. Like he's still getting like four thousand views on his videos and stuff like that. Congrats, man. Like I'm hoping to get back up to that tier and stuff like that. I'm sure he's heard of me. I'm I obviously heard of him. But I used to only do one podium method a week and uh, as much detail as possible in it. And I did that for you guys so then you guys could at least win the vehicle. I'm really like sometimes now like even Bullshit Party said he's getting bored of doing podium methods. I don't blame him. He's been doing it for every single... He's been do, He's probably done 70 or 80 videos on it now. So I don't blame him. He's gotten bored of it. I mean, that's kind of how I was for a little bit as well. But now that I kind of want to go back to it and get back to doing GTA videos. Because I just need something to take my mind off of school and work every single day. Because I feel like I'm kind of in a routine right now of just doing that. So I just want to get back to doing videos. Make some money doing videos. Maybe grow the channel again. And maybe we can get this channel until like GTA 6 comes out, which maybe that's going to be 2025, but hey, maybe we can get this channel up and running again. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and customize this vehicle. There you go, armor 100%, brake brakes, bam, race brakes, engine, all the way up. The car doesn't have many customizations, so it's going to be a quick customization. Horn options doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'll pick whatever one I think is cool. Definitely not a clown horn, because that looks bad. But lights, uh, headlights... There's neon lights, neon layout, get bam, neon color. We'll figure out the neon color later. Um, they might go for a blue and gray theme on this car. So it's been a while since I, actually it's been a year since I've done a car customization video for you too. Oh, my crew color kind of looks cool with this vehicle. Not really what I want to do though, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go ahead and metallic color, is that correct? Metallic color on here doesn't look too bad, but I kind of want a bluish color, so... Metallic blue. Wish the whole entire car wasn't that. Like there's some cars you see that are not that color. Where are the blues that we need to look for? We get the blues now, but are these the blues we want? I want a darker blue, yeah. Um Let's do this blue, but we're gonna change the pearlescent on it. I'm not really a big fan of the pearlescent. I think we might do a. There's a way we can make it just look brighter. Dude, some of these cars with like. I just don't like how this car has so much of a primary color that like it kind of takes away from the secondary color. I'm trying to find one that kind of goes with it pretty well. All right, we gotta figure this out. I mean, yellow looks kind of cool on it, but it just makes a weird color to it. I knew I want to find something that kind of goes with it. I mean, I feel like gray would be too dark if I did that. Uh, what do I want to do again? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, silver doesn't look bad on it because I'm trying to go for kind of a dark color on it, so silver might look pretty good on it. But I think that gray theme won't work on it. I think actually, you know what? We're going to go for a metallic white on it, I think. All right, let's go for a classic white. I like that better. We'll do a classic ice white, and we'll figure out the color from there. I think we might do a reddish. 
for the secondary color. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, let's do a... Let's just do a metallic red so it doesn't balance it out. It looks kind of cool. We can have a spoiler going on it later. All right, so there we go. We got the red color going theme going for it. Gremolum, we don't really need a Gremolum, even though it kind of looks kind of cool with this vehicle a little bit, but not that cool. Suspension, we bring all the way down. Transmission, all the way up. Turbo, think. Uh, wheel options. What did that dude say to me? I don't know what he said to me. Let's do high end because this is a high end vehicle. At the time, a long time ago, this was a very high end vehicle. Back then. We gotta find rim options. That looks just too old, classic. I like that one looks kind of cool. Thank you. I do have great taste sometimes. All right, but anyways, let's go for. Uh... We're gonna go for. Uh... Yeah, we'll just go for. Actually, custom red looks fine. Yeah, tire options, custom tires, tire enhancements, blow up for tires, tire smoke. We're doing red. So if you guys have this podium vehicle for tomorrow, get to try getting this podium vehicle by tomorrow, and we'll uh, do a stream on this. Maybe wrap some stores with it. Bring back that window options. Going all the way down. Do they have? Do they not have a spoiler on here? Wow, this car really kind of sucks. Yeah, it really does. Imagine a spoiler on this car. Look insane. I guess we gotta go with the light options now. Yeah, and color. I mean, yeah, this is probably the best I can do on this car because there really isn't many customizations you can do for it. But yeah, I guess that's all. Um, this is only a six minute video, but I kind of want to. Just kidding. <laughs> um, anyways, um, oh, it's kind of cool. I mean, well, I guess I'll do a drive test for it. I mean, I haven't. I don't think I've actually ever, ever bought a adder. So let's. Well, I already crashed it. Let's see if this thing is good at drifting at all. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's very uh, handy. Tom Connors, leave me the damn alone. I think that's his name. I mean, yeah, if you get the right things going on, you can drift this car pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, you have to, yeah, there's some getting used to this vehicle, but shit. Once you get this going, you can you can drift it pretty good. Actually, I and think about the drift update, because this is one of the new updates that came out, I'm pretty sure. I actually never done that before. Or I've never bought one of those vehicles yet. I don't think so, at least. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. And stay awesome. Goodbye, everyone.